Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about how to create transparent video. Usually, if people are asking about transparent video, they're asking for video to be used as an intermediate, meaning they want to create something transparent, but use it in another video. We'll look at that. Or you're looking at creating an asset that's transparent to use somewhere else, like maybe uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Software, or on other social media platforms. We'll look at, at both of those. But the very first most important part of all of this is not every video format supports transparency. And the biggest one is YouTube video, H.264. This video format cannot support uh, any alpha channels or transparency. And that's really what transparency is. Because there really is no such thing as transparent video. It's a separate channel in the video that contains information to tell what is there and what isn't there. Black means it's missing. White means something is there. That's what an alpha channel is. So even if you could export out something uh, to H.264, players wouldn't even understand it. They would disregard it and wouldn't play it. The good thing is for web and social media, WebM is a free codec and I'll show you that export. Uh, the link is in the description. You can install this Mac and Windows. It works in Premiere Pro, probably works uh, anywhere else too. And you can just export out tiny files. But let's also look at uh, Cineform uh, with um, uh, transparency and QuickTime. All right, let's go have a look. Shout out goes to Meg Frivaldo for uh, requesting this tutorial. So here we've got a transparent video. How do I know it's transparent? In the little flyout menu on the wrench, turn on the transparency grid. Now you can see I've got transparent video. This was originally a green screen video that was exported out with an alpha channel and it was just imported in that way. If you've need to get things transparent with green screen. I've got to, a tutorial here. So this is my video. I want to get this out as a transparent video. How do I do that? Well, we export this out like we would export anything else out. Export media. And I want to show you one of the confusing things. If we go to H.264, which is what you would use for the web or for um, YouTube, there's a choice down here to render alpha channel only. And if we play this back, you can see, well, there's an alpha channel in this and I'm looking at H.264. So it might be a bit confusing seeing render alpha channel, yet I'm looking at H.264. Bottom line is it's not gonna happen. So let's look at probably the, the most obvious one, which is QuickTime. And it always defaults to this nasty uh, DV footage. If you click in here and choose match source rewrap, older versions won't have this. It's going to rewrap this. And if we move down through here, we can see RGBA 12 bit plus alpha. RGBA, the A means alpha. It's going to export this out with an alpha channel. Now, just as an example, this is gonna make a very large file. Both the QuickTime and Cineform files are 96 megabytes in size. And the WebM was only three megabytes for the exact same frame size. So this can be a format that you could use, but if you want a better intermediate format, then this is your choice right here. Cineform RGB 12-bit with alpha. Anytime I need to bring something in, in fact, she was uh, was exported out as um, Cineform. These create very large files. They're intermediate. So this is, again, for someone who wants to reuse this, but have this close to the same quality. It's not completely lossless, um, but it is the best quality that you can have and still have a large file and have transparency. These can be very, very big, especially if you've got transparent 4K videos. These are gonna be hundreds uh, of uh, megabytes, maybe even gigabytes of, of size. But that is the best format there for that. And you can see down here, Cineform, and again, the RGB plus alpha is showing up. 
Now, I've already exported this, uh, both of these out. I've exported some of these out and I just wanna show you that you can use Premiere Pro as a test file. So if you're not really sure if something has transparency, you think you've exported out, does it have transparency? Two tests I'm gonna show you. So let's bring in those two there. Let's open them up. Create a sequence. And we've still got our transparency grid on. That's the H.264 and there's the QuickTime. So you can see the H.264, no transparency. So that's one test. But you can also select the clip, right click and choose modify interpret footage. And here you'll see alpha channel. So you can see use the alpha channel, straight alpha or pre-multiplied. You can ignore the alpha, invert the alpha, which is good if, if the software made the wrong color, black and white differently. You can also conform it to pre-multiply multiply, um, and you'll see, see the white edges show up in there. Pre-multiplying is, is a way to add an extra color as a backup uh, to something, but we don't really need this. Let's look at the H.264 modify interpret footage, no alpha channel right there. This is the go-to place for getting rid of any confusion or disputes. If somebody says, because you can't see an alpha channel, you can't see transparency, but Premiere Pro can definitely show it. This is a way to test if you've got any kind of alpha channel or transparency. Now let's look at a different um, kind of file, which is a graphic animation file. And I purposely created this goofy dance file with these transparent edges here. So you can see soft edges and, transparency and, and transparency, and I've got a full flash color that covers the whole thing. And you can see a little bit of transparency in there. So this is not only a soft edge like the hair, it's a full transparent value on the whole clip itself. But this can be exported out just as easily. I exported this out using WebM. So as I mentioned, there is a, a, you can download this codec and it just, you choose WebM and it's exporting out is the VP9 format, which include alpha channel. So it's everything you need for the alpha channel. I've already exported this out here it is, web, WebM format. I'll open this with VLC. And you can see VLC will understand it. But look what's happened to the transparency. The transparency has got this solid edge around it. So it might not look transparent, but it actually is. This is just the format. Remember, you're not going to use, you're not going to play this back in VLC. You'll probably play this back in something else. And a great example of this is open broadcast software. So if you're trying to broadcast uh, live and stream live to Twitch or to to Facebook or something like that, you can take these transparent graphics, the WebM versions, and use them there. So. Let me open up a session with open broadcast software and I'm going to be uh, showing you my, my webcam here. So I'm s connected here. Um, this is what I would stream live. This is just a, a ping file with some transparency on it. I'm going to add another media source and I'll call this girl. And we'll load in Young girl shaking hair, WebM format. And I'll loop this file. Click OK, and there she is. And I'll try to grab this edge and stick her down there in the corner.
So there she is transparent and she's looped. Uh, let me add another media source and call this dance. And we'll select the WebM dance loop. And I, I made this one without the uh, flashes in it. And that's going to loop down there in the corner and be transparent. So I've got, oop, I've got <laughs> her down there, mm -mm -mm, the dance over there, and they're just going to sit there as transparent. And they're very, very small. So WebM format, great for this. So as you can see, I've got my uh, total transparency, nice soft edges there. If I started to broadcast from here out, then you would have the same uh, transparency showing up. All right. So there's a few ways to create transparent video. The most important thing to understand, as I said, not every format supports it and not every player will understand it. So you have to pick the right format and the right player and the right workflow. And you too can create some goofy, crazy stuff like I've got going on here uh, with transparency. All right, so there you go, transparent video. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that through PayPal, one time or monthly donation. Thanks to all of our wonderful PayPal uh, donation supporters. There's a link in the description and on the front of the page. If you want to be notified of our weekly tutorials, every week a new one, make sure you ring the bell and um, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, we have lots of interaction here and on Facebook. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you and your transparencies looking their best.